Hi, my name is Sam Fatu, known as the Tonga Kid. I'm doing this video because of a great friend of mine, Superfly, Jimmy Snuka, one of the greatest wrestler of all time, one of the greatest guys that you'll ever meet. I want to tell you guys a little story before I get into the details. Jimmy Snuka comes from a great family, a beautiful, loving family family. Great person to be around with. I want to thank God that he was part of my life. I want to thank God that Jimmy was there to take me underneath his wings. I'm speaking to you guys from the heart. And I want everybody in the world to know what type of person he is. I was 16 years old when I met Jimmy Snuka. Greatest person in the world that you can ever meet. It's hard for me to talk about these things because what I heard over a couple days ago but it's time to speak the truth. The truth will set you free. I want to say this to you, my brother, Super Black Jimmy Snooker. I love you, and I always have. 1983, I was there when the incident happened. I was 16 years old. I don't remember everything that happened, but I can remember and tell you people this much. We wrestled that night and I remembered the hotel. I still remember the name. I remember the place, Allentown, Pennsylvania. George Washington Hotel. Of course, we all go back and we have a few drinks and we partied and did all kind of dirt. I mean, who wouldn't? We were in the spotlight. I'm so blessed and honored to be his friend. To make a story short, when I was there that day, we had a couple of drinks, we celebrated. I forgot what it was for, it's probably on my birthday. A couple of hours later, I seen all these police cars coming out. And I was just a couple doors down from him. <clears throat> and the next thing you know, I seen them bring Jimmy out and I'm looking and I'm thinking, God, what's going on, what's going on? I seen all the cop cars, all the ambulance. I was 16 years old again. But Jimmy, knowing the type of person he is that I've been around him for so long as a kid, Jimmy wouldn't hurt anybody. Jimmy wouldn't hurt a fly. Every time I see Jimmy with his girlfriend, town to town, city to city, they're always laughing joking, playing around. I mean, this man loved it her so much. He loved it her so much that I stopped traveling with him and he was traveling with her. But it was okay because Jimmy had a big heart. I never listened to Elvis Presley until I hung around with Superfly Jimmy Snuka. He loved Elvis Presley. Those were his favorite songs was Elvis Presley. He had a nice, brand new pink Lincoln. Who drives around in a pink Lincoln? Only one man, the Superfly, Jimmy Snuka. I love you, brother. You hang in there and don't let anybody or anything discourage you, brother. Thank you for being my friend. And for the fans, love Jimmy Snuka.